Hi, I'm Miffy Rigby, and here's what's good in my hood. So we're about to visit Parsi Patanan at Cafe Parsi. It's one of my favourite restaurants in Newtown because of its individual flavours, the ability to mesh Australian and Finnish ingredients, the fact that it's got this brilliant bistro vibe, and we're gonna go and try a pickled beef taco, which I'm super excited about. I'm here, it's good to see you. So what are we making? So these are ox tongues from uh, Riverina area from near Wagga Wagga, and they've been pickled for six days. We're gonna seal them off really well in a pan, braise them for six hours. Once they're cold, we're gonna slice them and put them in the little skewers. This is the real deal. Can we press these? I don't know how they make it. I don't know how they do it so quick. This is sauerkraut. So fermented cabbage in 2% salt for about two weeks for now. This is maple syrup, a Dijon mustard, and Worcestershire sauce. A rye taco with pickled beef tongue and a sort of a, a Finnish coleslaw, I guess, of pickled sauerkraut and a bit of mayonnaise, some chives, some salt. I'm super pumped to eat this. So what I've always loved about Pasi Patanen's cooking is the fact that he takes his like classic kind of Australian flavors, but then puts his own finished spin on it. And all of these things, which look so sort of deceptively simple, actually are, I mean, this taco took a week of preparation. So this is Marpo, to Marpo Tofu. <laughs> this is Marpo Gelato. It's one of my favorite places. I come here all the time. It's just this really fantastic mix of heroing local producers from around Sydney and Australian ingredients, but by using really, really traditional Italian methods to make the gelato. I've been making gelato for three years now. Uh, I learned back in Italy from a friend of mine. I always loved Newtown. I lived here for about three years. Uh, I love the neighborhood. Today we're having a wonderful avocado and lemon gelato. Uh, it's actually a sorbet, so it's water-based and it's made with 60% fresh avocados and lemon juice. That is delicious! Super light, super creamy. You can taste every flavour, you can taste the delicacy. Why do I never order that? I don't know. What's wrong with me? What I love most about this little section of the Inner West is the density of the population and the fact that the restaurants are such a direct reflection of that. Cairo Takeaway, which is our next spot, is just down on Enmore Road. Might be up here. Oh, no, it's over here. It's a fantastic place to eat before going to see a gig at the Enmore, isn't it? And it's in inexpensive and it's delicious. There's not much happening in the, on the Egyptian um, restaurant side of things. So we opened a few years ago and it's been good, you know, it's been wild. We're gonna do the lamb kofta pocket and we'll slam that with a little bit of tahina and a good salad and some pickles. And that's very traditional. And maybe we can do a hawalshi, which is also a lamb dish if you want to try it, which is an Egyptian bread and we, we put a little bit of beef mince in there, onions, capsicum, bake it for about 20. It's nice and crispy and we cut it in fours. Such a nice combination of like fresh and crunchy and fatty and creamy. With a lovely little carb blanket. I've always loved the vibe of this place. It feels so real, so old school, properly salty Sydney. It's gonna be slicing up some brisket and some hot links. Did you say the brisket went down for seven hours, right? Yeah. Yep. So what we have here is like a classic American style barbecue plate where you've got seven hours smoked brisket, hot links that have been grilled. The largest pickle I've ever seen in my entire life. So we've jumped over two suburbs, over to Chippendale, which is a suburb that used to be quite dodgy, but now has become really gentrified with the likes of Esther, Brickfields Bakery, and the amazing LP's Quality Meats, which is the brother venue to Bella Bruta. Luke Powell's gonna do us some beef cheeks today, which I believe are gonna be quite delicious. Ooh. Hi. Congratulations on the new look venue, it looks amazing. Tell us a little bit about the big change. We closed at the beginning of February. Um, we've lost sort of half the restaurant and built a sort of small goods production area. Large cool room, cold processing area, and then a salumi fridge at the front. We have the sausage on sec curing, and then also some Rangers Valley Girellos, which is for a brizola, um, which is just an air-dried uh, beef uh, 
uh, Salumi products. Tell us a little bit about what you've made for us today. We've got a, a braised beef cheek. Um, it's on the menu at Bella at the moment. Uh, just braised in red wine and white polenta and the garlic oil. On top. Like the buttery cheek and then the buttery cheesy polenta should be kind of like overdrive, but it really works. <laughs> now we're wrapping up here and um, our very last stop on what has been quite a whirlwind inner west snacking tour, Mary's Rooftop, which just opened last week. So tell us a little bit about Mary's Rooftop. What's it all about? What Mary's on a bloody roof. When we first looked at it, we would put a proper kitchen in that room and we'll do all this stuff. But we do music festivals all the time. And so we set this whole place up in like four days. It, it was such a simple idea and it's such a simple kind of approach. The Mary's menu is streamlined. We've been working seven years to make sure that there's no little bits. It's just annoying. It takes two of them and they can smash out, you know, three, four hundred burgers a day. And it's made with great produce, which is, I suppose, one of the major reasons we're talking about this. You know, our beef from Gibson in Victoria, grass fed, good value for money, bang for buck, it tastes delicious. It's the best burger in Australia. That, that's my honest and heartfelt opinion. So that was my vision of the Inner West, my favourite, favourite part of Sydney. I'm Miffy Rigby and that's what's good in my hood.